I'm Patty Norgard, former mayor of Cross Lake and a current member of the Water Quality Group. In 2016, the city of Cross Lake held a weekend of community events to help us plan and envision a future for Cross Lake. And overwhelmingly, uh, water quality was the number one priority. And so the reason that water is so important to us is that Cross Lake sits on the whitefish chain. And the chain is our economic engine. So the water quality group was formed with many community volunteers. We decided to focus on mitigating the runoff from County Road 66 that went directly into the whitefish chain. So we looked at the drainage areas, uh, which was over 40 acres, and then studied the amount of sediment that that would carry on average. Lots of modeling involved in preparing a study with review of lots of different alternatives and coming up with a recommended solution that the committee felt was appropriate and we applied for funding through the uh, Board of Water and Soil Resources and uh, Clean Water Fund. By working together we had secured approximately $600,000 in grants and for the more detailed part of the project I'm going to introduce John Forney, Chair of the Water Quality Group. What we found when we looked at uh, protecting our lakes was that County Road 66 has a whole curb and gutter system. We identified five small watersheds within that area that uh, were collecting the water and all that water for decades has been running directly into our lakes. The lakes we were working with were Island and Moon Lake. The system to deal with this runoff was designed by Woodseth and it included three mechanical filters and about a quarter acre of retention pond. So we had two treatment devices. One was hydrodynamic separators and then the other was a wet cementation basin. Inlet pipes come in, they use the energy of of the water coming in, create like a swirl motion in the chamber, and then all your floatables are collected in the center, and then all your solids um, settle out in the bottom, and then eventually clean water comes out. And then in the other location, we had a wet sedimentation basin, but we weren't able to construct a pond large enough to get the treatment we were looking for, so we actually did kind of like a hybrid system there where we had the, the pond combined with uh, two of our separators. So first we have the runoff from the city street, and they go through the separators, and then it goes into the pond. And the pond is like the high treatment or the, the finishing of the runoff. We had a wonderful relationship with all of our partners, as Patty said. Uh, we had a particularly great experience with Woodseth. They understand how important the lakes are they understand how to deal with them and they designed and, and implemented the project beautifully. 